middle east so with the today's class we'll understand or we'll study about the two important parts are tissue systems which are exclusively found only in the epidermis not in another places so you you might have uh, you might uh, agree with me that the stomata and the trichomes are the two components which we can see only in the epidermal region not anywhere else right uh, let me talk about the trichomes some of the epidermal cells of the plant body will show some of the hair like out outgrowth and those are considered as the trichomes where these trichomes may be singly found or they may be found in the group or in the mass they may be uh, grown the outgrowth may be a uni layer or only one outgrowth or in the form of a group and this one more important character feature of the trichome is that they may be unicellular or multicellular nothing but a, a single cell can be having a outgrowth or multiple celled outgrowth can be seen and their shape of the trichomes also may vary one more point i would like to tell you all that the trichomes are also been used as a characteristic feature for the classification of a plant in some of the plants as we already studied in the in the previous semester that the pollen taxonomy in the chemo taxonomy and the cyto taxonomy that based on this uh, based on the different uh, uh, characteristics of a pollen and the cell and some chemical substance where, where we can have a classification of a plant that's what we have studied in the modern taxonomy in some plants the trichomes are also been used as the classification for the classification of a plant okay na so the trichomes can be used as a tool for the classification of a plant in some system of classification right now they are uh, again as i already told you that they are outgrowth and that can be said as a small protuberances up in the which can be seen in the epidermal cells and as i already told you that they may available in the uni one one uh, singly or in the mass and if they are arranged even if they are found in a single they may show branches also okay na i mean uh, they may show the branches just like the uh, the leaf branches can be, how can we see seen in a branch similarly the branched uh, the trichomes can also be seen and we'll show you the images of the trichomes different type of a trichomes in the coming slide where these trichomes may be dead or living and usually the uh, what we call why they have been said as a dead because some of the uh, trichomes very often loses their protoplasm so because of uh, because of losing the protoplasm they they doesn't undergo any of the metabolism so they can be said as a dead and in some of the trichomes they retain the protoplasm active pro protoplasm for longer time and those will be said as living trichomes i now coming to the uh, based on the uh, uh, cellular pattern the trichomes will be classified into two types one is unicellular hair and a multicellular hair multi unicellular trichomes and the multicellular trichomes where the unicellular trichomes may occur just like a needle or they may be branched just like a tree where the multicellular trichomes are they contains uh, uh, a row of cells arranged one above the other a single uh, trichome having 1 2 3 4 or n number of as many number of cells or the trichomes comprising uh, uh, what we call multi seriate cells nothing but at the at the origin, origin originating place where we can see uh, uh, five or many number of tri uh, many number of cells and when you go top of the uh, trichome their number of uh, cells may get reduced so the uh, uh, dendroid like of, uh, again the shape of a uh, trichomes in the multicellular trichomes again it may vary it just look, look just look like a tree like a dendroid like and some of the trichomes may have the stinging hair some of the trichomes may have some of the uh, poisonous substances and all the uh, the trichomes which comprising a uh, different um, molecules and they are again uh, structurally quite different from each other so because of that as i already told you this this particular character trichome characteristic can also be used for the classification of a plant and one more important feature the exclusive feature of the trichome is the stinging hair and the glandular hair stinging hair nothing but some of the uh, trichomes contains some of the poisonous liquid so that's why because uh, so in in when you go and visit in in some of the forest there some forest god will come and will tell you that don't touch the plant will uh, again that plant leads to the uh, what we call again will uh, may uh, uh, may kill the person or some of the plants cannot be uh, eaten raw because of some of the uh, chemical substances which will uh, which may cause 
some illness in the plant world or in in the humans so because of the some poisonous substance similarly the stinging here nothing but the uh, trichomes which com comprise the poisonous liquid so this particular poisonous liquid because of the presence of the poisonous substance in the hair and those will be considered as stinging hair again the sting nothing but scorpion sting and karita okay na so scorpion sting why because the scorpion the tail or sting of a scorpion contains the poisonous substance so similarly because of that a similar characteristic the trichomes will also be considered as the stinging hair so here here uh, the structurally they are again they are quite stiff i think but they are very tough slender tapering structure and the what we call uh, at the end of the tapering structure they may have a knob like structure which is again at the end uh, after the knob like structure again we are going to see a small end which uh, through that uh, end the it contains a pores and through that end we can when we come uh, when that particular uh, structure come in contact with the, uh, any other person then we are it is going to release some of the substance and that may leads to the uh, what we call uh, again illness in the uh, person who has uh, come in contact with that particular hair and coming to the glandular hair similar to the stinging hair these glandular hairs also contain some of the chemical substance but they are quite active nothing but they are not poisonous enough these glandular trichomes containing some of the volatile oils or resins some of the miscellaneous substances or gums or the latex and these substances may uh, may may not be having any poisonous uh, uh, poisonous characteristic with after coming in contact with them but they release some of the substances and these can be used further for the pharmaceutical or for the medicinal properties based on after the scientific validation where these secretory uh, both stinging hair as well as the glandular hair contains the active protoplasm because of that they are going to release the after undergoing the different metabolic uh, pathway they are going to release some of the substances where in the stinging hairs they are going to release some of the biochemicals which are quite poisonous where in the glandular hairs they are going to some of the substances which are not poisonous enough okay na one more pattern one more type of the uh, uh, uh the uh, trichome here we have the scale or peltate type of this uh, trichome so these are the commonly commonly seen or common type of a trichomes which we can see in the uh, the plants may they just look like a shield okay you can see that the uh, peltate can you able to see this one the structure this so this is what a top view when you see it from the uh, uh, side view we are going to see the uh, the structure of here like this peltate so these are what is in different types of a structures different structures of a uh, trichome uh, here you can see that as a simple branch just nothing but these are the branched one they are again multicellular hair a branched one and these we can see stellate uh, in the side view we are going to see the uh, trichome like this and in the top view we are going to see the trichome like this again this is what this is what a peltate peltate the name why because the plate or the shield like structure and this is what a t shape nothing but it just looks like a horn or the fruit of a uh, mean you have seen the fruit of the calotropis just looks like a horn right that's why it came as the t shaped uh, trichome so we'll go to the next one we'll show you some of the Uh, trichome structure in the next slide coming to the how these trichomes and how they are being made made up of usually the trichome cell wall are commonly made up of cellulose and they are since uh, when the epidermal epidermis starts depositing the cuticle at the time only the trichomes also will start depositing themselves with the cuticle nothing but during the epidermal uh, epidermal cutaneization is not at started there the trichomes will not be having the cuticle deposition only the cellulose will be there as like the structure of as the morph uh, as the biochemical uh, pattern of a epidermal cells similarly the trichomes will be having where when the epidermal cells start cutaneization the even the uh, trichomes will start cutaneization also but the chief component of a trichome is the cellulose sometimes these uh, trichomes may be having the lignified walls also one more point is that the these trichomes may sometimes undergo when the plant at the secondary deposit on the, the, the secondary when the cell start secondary wall formation these trichomes may also have the secondary wall deposition 
apart from that some of the components which we can see in the trichomes are silica crystals or calcium silica or uh, well as calcium crystals can be seen in the trichomes nothing but silica silica uh, silica carbonate as well as calcium carbonate can also be seen in the trichomes and also the cystolids and other crystal may also develop in the hairs of a trichome so these are some of the structure i mean generally the trichomes in all the plants contain the cellulose where when the plant epidermal cell start cutaneization there you are going to see the cuticle formation in the trichomes and also lignification also can be seen in the trichome where the secondary wall formation has nothing but the lignification nothing but the plant uh, at the stage of the secondary wall formation or secondary thickening similarly the trichomes will start secondary thickening with the help of the lignification and some of the important features which are not seen in all the plants of the trichomes but some trichomes or some hairs may exhibit a uh, silica carbonate as well as calcium carbonate uh, minerals in the trichomes apart from that they may even see the cystolic as well as other crystals so think about the deposition of other crystals in the hair and now coming to the some of the different structure of a trichomes here you can see this this what a unicellular trichome a normal unicellular simple trichome and this what multicellular uniseriate nothing but containing 1 2 3 4 5 number of cells which are arranged one above the other but they are uniseriate in the uniseriate uh, multicellular uh, uh, trichomes you can see that there is again structurally quite different this just uh, this normal and you can see there is a small curvature of the trichome and again we can see the barbed type of stomata and you can even see the candle just see one more here you can see the candy labra type of stomata just see this how they are looking here, here, here you can see the dendritic type of stomata you can here you can see the four coded type of stomata here you can see echinoid type of stomata and you can see the peltate type of stomata so again there we are going to see the different types of the stomata again based on the different structures you can see here the single celled knob like structure and here we can see the same knob like structure but they are multicellular and these usually the glandular one i think but they they contains some of the glands the glands and they contain the some of the active biomolecules and those can be uh, taken off by the uh, mechanical injury 